Hello again everybody and welcome back. My name is Ron and we are about to go ahead and start building our vault. We are here in Vault 88 and today is the day we start building. In case you forgot what this looks like, what the finished product looks like, here it is. And now let's go ahead and let's get building. So let's enter our workshop menu here. And this is the one piece that when we were scrapping we left behind because this is exactly what we want. So what we're going to do is we are going to go under structures and vault. Most of the pieces we'll be working with today are under atrium. And what we need to do is we need to have a cornerstone piece, uh, a piece that we put down that everything else builds off of. So we need a doorway bottom, pop that into place. Now we need an atrium end, and this is what's gonna give us that vaulted ceiling look. So we'll snap that into place, maybe. And same thing on the other side. And if we step back and look, you can see it's starting to take shape. Now, we have this big hole. Now we can just plug it up with regular wall pieces, or we can maybe add a window. Um, since there's nothing but a blank wall behind it, right now we're just going to add a, you know, add a regular wall piece. We can always come back later and change it if we want. So let's go ahead and pop that into place. This next piece can be a little tricksy. So we will have to scoot that over a little bit and try to get it ah, wedged in there. Come on. There we go. And there you go. It's starting to take shape. Now, we could start building left or right, but we want to make sure that we get the focal point, which is the center of the room, the statues, and the overseer's office we want to make sure that is com that is lined up. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some floor pieces and we're going to build over to that overseer's office. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And make sure we stay in line with the door. And let's see, that should put us exactly where we want, give us enough space back here for our overseer's office, and that looks good. And now we want a doorway bottom here. And we're just going to repeat the same process on this side with the atrium pieces. Turn it around. Get it to cooperate and snap into place. But this time, we actually want a window here. We want that overseer's window. So first we're gonna find a blank wall, plug up the bottom, and now we're gonna use our overseer's window. Oh, maybe. And there we go. Now if we step back all the way, you can see our handiwork. And as you can see, that looks really good. That window makes all the difference in the world. So now we're going to go ahead and we'll plug in the ceiling first. And we want to go this way and grab all of our uh, ceiling pieces here. That's the wrong thing. There we go. And these should all just snap into place. Nothing fancy here. Just go ahead and place one all the way down on both sides. And there we go. There's our vaulted ceiling. And now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it from this side. Looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to build on this side of the room. And you're gonna see how fast the rest of these pieces just snap right into place. Okay, so we're going to want to get the double, uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. The double decker piece out. Because if you remember, we have a both a floor and a mezzanine. So it's called prefab and I call it a double decker. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pop this into place, this into place, and we're getting close to the wall. So this is where we're going to curve it in and bring it back in. So grab a corner piece, 
and put that guy right there and there we go now right here this is where we start building our clinic if in case you forgot what that looks like here it is all right so let's go ahead and bring out another double decker and now we need a double doorway because we're going to have a repeat of the clinic's office not the actual clinic itself but the room on above it so we need a doorway we need a window and now we're going to want to start curving it back towards those uh, tunnels behind us there so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use a corner inner piece this is the corner piece without the walls and we want another doorway if I spin it the right direction another window so we want two entrances into our clinic and now we're going to go back to the double decker pieces uh, let's see did I do that no we no you know what that's not right because we need to start curving this back this way again so we can have room for our uh, research laboratories right here so we'll put a corner piece in and then we want a doorway and I went the wrong way and a window and another doorway and then we should put another corner piece here as you can see we're just about to start smacking into this rock slide over here and we used up all the space because behind there we're going to build some rooms so when you're done it should look like that and now we need to curve it back this way and start connecting it to uh, the other side of our atrium so once again you're going to get the double decker pieces and now we need to plug this hole but we need to make sure that we have a way to get in to see our overseer so we're going we have a stairwell and everything else so first we need to let's see what is the best way to do this we need to have a doorway right here but the thing uh, no we need to have pardon me we'll put the double decker here because the stairway is pretty long and then we will have a doorway bottom next to that and that should be right yep that allows us to get up to the overseer's office okay so now we need to finish the top and we didn't use a double decker piece here a double doorway because we're not going to have a doorway above it so we need to have where is it there is a end cap piece it's a there it is a wall top and now we need to uh, finish the balcony there so we need to go over here and we need this hanging floor and you'll notice it has supports on the top and the bottom that's the piece that you want plug that in and there you go not too shabby all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to add our columns for support and fill in our floor and ceiling so we have this is our prefab end right here and you see we already have ceiling pieces here so we can't add our column there so we're going to go over by one and we're going to go ahead and add a floor and then you want to go all the way to the very end and grab this double decker column and as you can see it ties right into our ceiling and then once we fill in the ceiling pieces around it it'll look like it's supporting the entire vault but before we uh, fill in the ceiling why don't we go ahead and repeat the same process and put the column on behind us here so grab some floor pieces and we'll leave the hole for the column and there you go now we have an actual 
supports for our structure. All right, so what we're gonna do from this point is we're gonna fill in all the floor, and then we'll fill in all the ceiling on this side, and that's it, we'll get working on the other side of the atrium. Again, it all starts to snap into place very quickly. That's why I love these prefab pieces. level up for placing the floor. Not bad. And there we go. Looks a lot better with the floor in, doesn't it? And I like to put the floor in first, that way it puts you just a little bit higher so it's easier to reach and put the ceiling in place. So now we're just gonna plug the holes. And there you have it. Now if we step back and take a look, amazing what, you know, what a difference it is from going from that blank slate to a vault. And it looks kind of like you would expect a vault to look. Not too bad. Now what we need to do is, before we move on to the other side, we need to finish off these balconies and add a stairwell. So what we're going to do is, we'll go into stairs and we'll add a stairwell right here, right next to the column. And one here as well. And now we will add our last balcony piece. I don't like to end the balcony right where the stairs are. I, don't, I just don't think it looks good personally. So what we'll do is we'll grab a corner piece here. We'll put that right there. And one right there. And if we did this right, this by using this corner piece, it should make it easier to add the railing up later on. We'll help that all snap into place. And there you go. There's a stairway and that's good. Now we're going to go ahead and add a few more pieces on this side and repeat the column and the stairwells. So what we need to do is we need to go back in here and grab another double decker. And then from there to make sure everything lines up perfectly, we're gonna go add a floor piece. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our column. Maybe, there we go. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. And now let's go ahead and fill in the floor. And if we did this right, this should line right up. And it does. 
And now let's just fill in the floor. And now we just need a stairwell on this side. And there we go. Now it's starting to look awful familiar, yeah? That quickly we built the bulk of the atrium. I mean, obviously we still have to build the actual rooms, but that's not that hard. All right, so now the next step is we're gonna need to build this cafe. If you forget what that looks like, here it is. But here's the thing with the cafe. By default, the pieces will not just snap into place. And here, I'll show you. If you go underneath the rooms, all these rooms are considered like their own little individual pod. So other than doorways connecting to doorways, you can't get pieces just to snap in. The, you know, for example, this is the cafeteria wall. It just won't by default snap in, uh, snap to, I should say, not snap in, but snap to the atrium pieces. So what we're going to do in order to get around that and make sure everything lines up perfectly is we're gonna go over here and finish this side of the atrium and then I'll show you a little trick on how to get the cafeteria to look good. So we're gonna go over here and we're going to add, let's see, some more double decker pieces over here. I think about three more should do it. And if you remember over here, we had our shops. So what we need over here is we can't use a corner piece here because we're getting pretty tight on room. So what we'll do is we need a window because we have a shop on the top and the bottom. And then we can plug the holes over here with wall pieces later. So we'll add a window. Then we'll add a doorway. And then we will add a double decker without the mezzanine. This is just basically a blank hallway. This is what will help line up our cafeteria and this will also help line up the hallway that leads down that way. All right, and then right here, we are going to go ahead and start working on the outside wall of the cafeteria. So we need uh, a regular wall piece. Oh uh, yeah, wall piece, sorry, a window piece. This time not double decker because we're only working on the cafeteria below it. The room above it is different. So two window pieces. And we'll leave this blank for right now. I'm about to show you something here. All right, first let's, before we forget and end up not having this properly capped off, let's throw our wall pieces in there. And that is going to act difficult. Oops, perfect. So there we go, we capped off our wall. And now over here, what we're going to do is again, those pods will only snap uh, doorway to doorway. So what we'll do is we will temporarily throw a bottom doorway down here. And you'll see a method to my madness here in a second. So we'll put a bottom doorway there. We will go back into the rooms, go into the cafeteria, and we will find ourselves a doorway. And now you'll see that the doorway actually snaps into place. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that there. And now we'll put some pieces around it. So for since the cafeteria is open, the food court is, you know, a wide open space, we're going to use the cafeteria mids that give us both the ceiling and the floor of the cafeteria. So we'll spin it around so the beams on the top are heading the same direction. We'll drop that into place. We'll drop another one into place and we'll drop this one into place. Now, we can go ahead and we can get rid of this doorway. We'll store it away, don't scrap it. Same thing with this, we'll store this doorway away. And now, if we go back into atrium and just grab a single floor piece, put that into place, go back to our cafeteria, whoops, and we're gonna use another mid piece. We'll spin it around make sure it lines up if it does there we go and now we'll snap that into place and as you can see 
it lined up perfectly with the rest of the atrium. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish this off. Now we have three choices for our back wall. We have, let's see if I can turn this around so you can see it. We have an, a blank. We have one with burger and pizza. And we have one with hot dogs. So we're going to use, I like the ones with the pictures of the food because I love food. So we're going to start with the hamburger. It really doesn't matter. You can pick any one you want. I prefer hamburger and pizza. So we're going to start with the hamburger and pizza. Then we'll switch to the hot dog. Back to the hamburger and pizza. And we're just going to alternate this and one more piece. And there we go. So now we just need to fill in the rest, which will be all the mid pieces. Spin it around again because we're going to try to keep the uh, beams on the ceiling heading the same direction. And we're stuck. Ah. There we go. And there you go. There is our cafeteria. Now we just got to finish this side. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a, let's see, what is here? This is a, ooh, what is this? Right here we have our mid, our end. Is this our double decker? This might be a double decker here. Um, let's try it. We're going to go up in, back in the atrium. We are going to add a double decker piece here. If I remember this correctly. Actually, we need to make sure this lines up. Yeah, this will be a double decker. At least it should be. And I missed it already. <laughs> Where is it? There, there we go. Yep. Now this should snap into place. Yep. Now the reason why we did the double decker is because we're going to have a balcony that walks above the cafeteria and then a room behind that. That's going to be our hydroponics bay. So that starts, that helps us line up our mezzanine later on. All right. And so now we actually need two window pieces here to repeat what it looks like on the other side. And that would be a window bottom. And if we look back out and look, that should look perfect. Yep, there we go. So now we have our window bottoms and now we need a doorway here. And this will just be a single doorway because we're not having a double doorway. So grab yourself a doorway, put that there. Now we're going to grab a corner piece here. And this will be a, a double corner piece. Actually, no, you know what? That's not going to be a double corner piece because we don't need a mezzanine on this side. My apologies. Um, we are going to use... Well, we're going to use a corner piece, but we're just going... It's going to be a blank corner, so we need a corner bottom. Which I do believe we have. Yes. Ah. Spin it around. We got a corner bottom. And we should be able to plug in a corner top. And then right here, we should just be able to plug in a blank double decker without the mezzanine. Can we try to use as many prefab pieces as possible so we get a nice, perfect lineup? And then right here, yep, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put in a, quarter bo a corner bottom and a corner top. Was that, that was the wrong one. That's the right one. And now a corner top. Hey, snap. Thank you. And then right here, all we're going to do is we are going to have to fill this in. But we'll leave this part uh, unfinished until we go ahead and add in our room above. But right here, we can go ahead and just add a wall top to this. That way that's ready for us when we build the rest of this. Okay, so we'll leave that there. 
And uh, this video has gone long, long enough. I think that's good. We will end right there. We have finished our the bulk of our atrium. We have also finished our cafeteria. So all we need to do is next episode, we will finish the hydroponics bay above. And we will work on the overseer's office. And we'll see how far we get with that. All right. I hope this helped you guys out. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.